video, we discussed about how to access BigQuery on Google Cloud Platform. Please note that we haven't used any credit cards for accessing this. Now I'm going to show you how to write a SQL statement. On the left hand side, as discussed in the last video, we got access to BigQuery-Public-Data and we pinned this project as well. We scroll down here and looked at a data set, which is this icon, COVID-19 underscore NYT. And within that, I clicked on US states, and this was the table ID. This was populated. This, this table was created on April 9th, and it was populated last modified on May 22nd. So this is fairly um, latest and greatest data set. So now let's start writing a select star so select start from bigquery public data so all what you can do is copy this and there is a colon replace it by a dot so bigquery hyphen public hyphen data which is the name of the project essentially dot the data set which is covid19 underscore nyt dot the table name very similar to what we have been doing in case of other databases. Let me run it. You would see that it's super fast. And obviously within seconds, right? It, it returned me in 0.3 seconds. Even by the time I was moving this up, the query got the output. And you would see that 4,414 number of records are available in this table. It's not big, obviously. Now let's apply a filter. So I'm going to say where state name equals New York and just run it. Now it just filters for a state name, New York, and 82 records for New York exist. Now let us understand a few features. If you want to create a new query, you would click here, which is com compo compose new query. Hide editor if you want to click it. The query editor is hidden now. And then if you want to do full screen, you can do that as well. In here, this is a run option and then run selected. So you can select a portion of query and run it. And that's how it is run selected. You can save a query for a later use, but let's save a query for now. I would say my first query and click on save and you would see that the query has been saved here. You can also save a view of this as a view. You can schedule to run a query, which is on a scheduled frequency, daily, monthly, hourly. And then in the more options, you can change the query settings and format. We'll see that those options later. Here, you can save the results. So this is in the query results pane. You can save the results or explore the data using Data Studio. Please note that Data Studio is a product from Google. Again, it's free for all to, to use it. It's, it's something which you can quickly go and create and use a template and query directly, big query. On the left hand side, you will be seeing a query history. So remember, we ran a couple of queries. Those are the queries here. Saved queries will show you the queries we just saved. This is for future references. Job history shows you like what jobs were run and when there was no job scheduled. Transfers, the data transfer. There was no data transfer done, but you can create a data transfer API from other system. We are not going to discuss that for now. This is out of scope for us to discuss. Scheduled queries, if you have any scheduled query, for now we have none. You have to enable those APIs just for your information for now. Reservations, there is a BI engine, and then you can add more data set. Now, this is your project. It's unique ID, BDCS278103. So the name of the project is BDCS, but a unique ID was provided and automatically 
by Google. Now we're going to create few tables, but we will run few queries before creating tables and views. Please note that you do not have an edit permission or nobody has an edit permission to update BigQuery hyphen public hyphen data. Your tables, your views would be created over here. So in the next video, we will write few queries and create views before moving to some high level advanced uh, on uh, BigQuery. Thank you for watching.